Hey guys, I'm coming at you with a quick video. I want to talk about two very specific things uh, that have just recently happened or been announced. The first one is that the first episode of the most recent iteration of the Pretty Cure anime series, Haguto Pretty Cure, uh, has just been released with subs, and I watched it about an hour ago. It's like uh, 9 o'clock in the night right now on my end. Uh, I really liked it, just to put it plain and simple. I thought it was a very good start with uh, establishing the main characters, the villains, and the goals of the uh, Pretty Cure. To say, uh, with this iteration, the um, one of the main themes of it is uh, dreams and the future. And uh, I love the main character, Hana. She's very energetic and very... Positive. I think she's going to be a, a very good character. Uh, I'm also very interested to see, um, let's see, there are two other main characters beside Hana, and that's Saya and Homare. And I'm very interested to see what they do with Homare, because she really intrigued me when she was first introduced in this episode. And another thing that I really liked is um, uh, the, the, the little baby, Hagutan. The baby is so cute. Uh, it kind of reminds me of in a previous season, Fresh Pretty Cure, there was a little baby fairy named Chiffon. It, uh, it kind of reminds me of that. It also reminds me of another Magical Girl series, Ojama Jodori Mi. There was a baby character in the second season named Hanachan who was absolutely adorable. It kind of reminds me of those two, little Hagutan. And um, she, of course, has a caretaker, which is a little hamster. Very cute. Speaks with a uh, Kansai dialect. I know if you don't know Japanese, you won't know what a Kansai dialect is. Hmm. To, to put it into simple terms, kind of think of it kind of like a southern accent. Like the little hamster speaks in a... Uh, technically a uh, southern accent for, for Japan, the Kansai dialect is kind of the equivalent to an uh, American southern accent. Uh, but yeah, also uh, some of the things that I liked, um, I, I'm really liking the, uh, the concept of the uh, Mirai crystals and the uh, Tomorrow power or whatever it's called, I don't know the actual name for it, uh, the villains seem really interesting. I can't wait to see what they do with them. And I really like the transformation sequence. It was very sparkly, it was very cute, and I really like the design of how Cure Yell, Hana's transformation to Cure Yell, made her basically the cheerleader. That is awesome. So yeah, I can't wait to see what they do next from here, but the second thing I wanted to talk about was I kind of mentioned it in my Tumblr blog earlier, but for those of you who uh, haven't seen it over there, it was recently, they recently announced the cast for a new Magical Girl Tokusatsu series called Maho Senshi Maji Majo Piuazu. That's a hard title to say. Maji Majo Piuazu. That's it. Maji Majo Piuazu. There you go. They recently announced in the main cast for that the three main magical girls, um, the main bad guy, which is being played by Keiji Endo. And this one very much intrigued me. Uh, the, uh, the mentor character who is going to be, you know, helping the girls and taking care of their little fairy mascot, which is like a floating cat. It's adorable. The mentor character, Tiara, that's her actual name, Tiara, is Mariko Shinoda. I was very surprised to see her in the trailer. Like, I wasn't sure if I, that was her at first. I had to, like, I did a double take. That was like, I was like, is that Mariko-sama? That's Mariko-sama! That's Mariko! It's gonna be very interesting to see the kind of role she'll play in this. Um, uh, I don't think they officially announced the air date for when this tokusatsu series is going to air. But you know when the first episode comes out, I am going to be right on it. Uh, from what I could gather of it, the basic concept is that the three main girls are magical warriors, two of them being from 
another world where magic exists. And uh, Mariko being their mentor, she's also a witch. She also has magic powers, which I think is cool. And they're facing off against the bad guys. What were they called? The Jama Jama Dan? Jama Jama Dan? I don't know, but the villain who's being played by Keiji Endo looks very funny. I mean, this is a show that's for very little kids. It's a very young demographic, but I think it's going to be very entertaining nonetheless. Like, I, I love anything that has to do with the magical girl genre, especially those shows who do kind of cater toward the younger kids, because a lot of them, even though they do, they are, you know, very kind of childish, they're very simple, there are a lot of things about them that they can be very mature, because uh, Japanese children are actually very mature. Uh, some of the shows I mentioned before, like Pretty Cure and Ojama Jo Dorimi, some of them have some pretty adult uh, things, like the second season of Ojama Jo Dorimi, they talk about raising a baby and actually taking care of a baby. And some of the seasons of Pretty Cure, like Heart Catch, or uh, Fresh Pretty Cure, or uh, Princess Pretty Cure, some of them have some very dark themes. There are some characters with some very dark backstories, which is really surprising to see. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to this show. If not for anything else, it's just to see Mariko in a tokusatsu. I cannot wait for that. Uh, but yeah, that's all really I have to say about it. I just wanted to do a really quick video to talk about these things. So yeah, uh... I'm probably going to stay up a little bit longer. It's, uh, on a side note, it's Super Bowl night, so. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later with uh, another video, hopefully. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!